Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, come over, take a seat, grab a cup of coffee, tea, lemonade, water, soda, whatever you want to grab, popcorn, honey, just grab whatever you want to grab. Come over, join the family, okay? Over here we talk about beauty, fashion, and a lifestyle, sis. And if you're a returning subscriber, I wanna say what? <laughs> if you're a returning subscriber, I wanna say welcome back. To my channel you know how we do over here we have a good time and today is getting juicy we're gonna talk about all these questions that y'all have because man y'all are some nosy ass people okay but before we get started you guys know the drill don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time your girl uploads and don't forget to give this old video also a thumbs up let's go ahead and get started um, so maybe I'll probably actually do the Instagram um, questions first and then we dive onto the other social media platforms because Instagram looks like they got some questions um, okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually not going to mention any products that I'm using because that's probably just gonna take a lot of my time um, so I'll I will leave all the names of all the products I'll be using in the description bar in case you guys have any questions on the products. But let's go ahead, get some makeup done. I already did my eyebrows as you guys can see because it takes forever so. <laughs> so the first question was what part of the US do I live in? So I live in Houston, Texas to be exact. Um, I move here about I moved here about when was this it's actually almost four years ago you guys that's kind of scary um, I moved here about four years ago and someone asked how old I am how old do you think I am guess let's play a guessing game here go ahead just guess before I say it so I am 36 I just turned 36 in May May 5th to be exact so in case you care and you want to send me a gift if that's why you're asking I am 36 my birthday is May, May 5th okay what motivated you to start to model basically he said what motivated you for modeling but I think he really means is it he yeah is it he he really meant what motivated me to start modeling so that's like a whole <laughs> That's like a whole story. Do I look too bright? Okay, whatever. That's like a whole story by itself, right? What motivated me? So what really motivated me, um, how I got into modeling was just really, there's this designer who is actually from Senegal. Um, if you don't know, I'm from Gambia, West Africa. She's from Senegal and she's actually one of the biggest designers in, um, in Senegal. Um, her name is Umusi, very well known in the international world too. She came to Gambia and she saw me because she actually had an event there and she asked if I was a model and I was like, what is that? Right? I was young. Um, so she was like, oh, you know, I want to I hire you, blah, blah, blah. And basically, next thing I know was I was, I flew to Senegal and, um, you know, just kind of did some you know had someone coach me she paid for someone to actually coach me because um, she was trying to hire me to go to New York Fashion not New York Fashion Week Paris Fashion Week but that itself to itself is like a whole story time because I can't tell you guys the whole gist and the whole tea about all of that okay but yeah that's pretty much how I started modeling so I started modeling way before I came to the US or moved to the US this person is asking have you grown how have you grown this year? I think I think this year was a year for growth anyways for everyone. Um, we've all kind of taken time to ourselves really to reflect. I'm thinking, right? Okay, I'm, I should speak for myself, not everyone. I have taken time to really reflect on myself and what I want to do and what I want to achieve. Um, I always have the intention of getting back on YouTube. And I actually did mention it earlier this year when the year just began. Um, but, you know, I never would have had time to really like invest in my research, um, especially trying to perfect my craft when I come back. So I think in terms of growth, I have really grown myself to actually 
um, really just focus on what I love and just my inner peace and just really like I mean I'm, I've always been a person who just have really been very focused on growing myself and just being a better person um, in general but I think this year has really taught me to be um, to really take time to myself and basically just grow as a person and as a business individual so let's see what does it taste y'all are disgusting <laughs> i swear to god i'm not even gonna read the question at all what is <laughs> no boy bye this question was almost asked by a lot of people when are you getting married? 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 I don't know. Maybe y'all want me to marry myself. Child, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm not someone who's pressed about those things. Like, I have, I have major things in life that I'm worried about, <laughs> worrying about versus like, when am I getting married? Like, when? I don't know. I have no time. Okay. I'm probably going to be married at 40. Who knows, right? 50. I'll get married when somebody wants to marry me. If your uncle is time to marry me, send him over. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But when people ask when am I going to get married, it's almost like I have a timeline set for myself and I'm, I say, here is the ring. When this time comes, I'm going to get married. You guys, that's not how it works. You basically meet someone, you guys, Pretty much share the same interests you love each other unconditionally um, and then you basically talk about getting married and you get married so I don't know when I'm getting married my culture is at this age everybody that's like the only question people have for you when are you gonna get married when are you gonna get married when are you gonna get married well shoot I'm not married myself so I wouldn't know that like you better ask the guy that's gonna marry me when he's marrying me because I don't know who the guy is anyways um, so that's really not a question that I should be asked right like I have no answer to the question because if I was a guy maybe you can ask me that question and I don't even think it's fair to even ask a guy when he is gay married because not everyone is meant to be gay married not everyone is meant to um, you know to to have a family not have a family but not everyone is meant to basically be in a, a relationship and be married and be committed right so it's it's really just depends on the individual so i don't think that should be a question that should be pressed on anyone um i will get married when the time comes and i feel like i'm ready and i meet the right person correct but it's not, it's not one of my main worries in life. I just have to be, I just have to be very honest, right? When it happens, it happens. Like, and I'll be more than happy to, right? Um, and I think somebody actually did ask, um, do I want to be married? I do, right? But am I stressing over it? Hell no. Like I'm not pressed. That's that's seriously not. Like I said, it's really like the list of my concerns to be stressing about if I am going to get married or not. Like I can't sit down every single day and be like, oh my god, am I gonna get married? Am I gonna get married? No. Like I just mainly have to worry about me, my personal like happiness, well-being, and um, basically making sure I fall in love with the right person because the worst thing you can ever do to yourself is fall in love with the wrong person, you know? And yeah, that's what it is. So I'm the kind of person that don't want to get married and like, you know, it doesn't work out and I move on to the next one. Like, I wanna make sure that when I'm getting into something, I am like 110% sure. Like this is actually what I want to be in. You know, no strings attached. Like I, I'm getting into this because I, I want to get into this. Like I choose to be in this. And I know this is someone that I can really basically spend the rest of my life with, right? 
so that's just a wish not saying that you know nothing is something is wrong with being divorced like I that's not what I'm saying like I'm just saying that my wish which I think is everyone's wish is that I'm going to get married and I'm gonna be married forever right so yeah there goes your marriage question so to all the 50 other people that ask the same damn question there is the answer okay I think this person actually do watch me and my sister show and the person is asking why do Juka want to trade you for another sister for a new sister cuz she's crazy like <laughs> Who wants to who would want to trade me, right? Who 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 would in their damn mind, who in their right freaking mind would want to trade me for anyone else? Like I bring the life to the house. Like if I'm not there, the house is dead, really. So why would she want to trade me? Because you know, she's mean. You know, I'm the nice sister that just tells you. So let's move on to the next questions because we have a lot of questions to go. Um, let's see. It's not a question. He's uh, this person says I don't even know if it's a he or she. I'm guessing it's a he. It's not a question, but in case you're looking for a child to adopt, I am in 100%. I am all yours. I promise you 100%. Thank you so much. God bless you. Inshallah. That is so cute. I am actually you know what I do want to adopt a child um, and that's gonna lead me to another question that people have I do want to adopt a child that's one of my wishes in life to actually adopt a child right um, so hopefully when I'm ready to adopt you will still be at the age <laughs> I don't know how old you are if you could type all of this I don't think you're adoptable if that's a word <laughs> but definitely um, adoption is definitely um, one of the things that I would love to do because I just I don't know why but I've always been someone who just wanted to adopt a child even if I have my own child I still want to adopt a child that's just me right I don't know why but this person says I don't know where to start I'm nervous so why are you here? I mean, that's kind of cute, but I don't know what to tell you. Why are you nervous? What are you nervous about? Just go ahead. Say what you want to say. Spill the tea. Like, spill the beans, sis. Okay? Or oh, sir. I don't even know who sent this message, really. But I don't know what you are nervous about, but I hope you overcome your nerves. Okay? Um... Not a question, but thank you for making me believe that I can become a professional makeup artist. Oh, oh that's so cute. Well, thank you. Thank you for, um, thank you for basically being open and actually believing in yourself because I think it takes a lot for someone to actually believe in themselves and believe that they do have a talent um it took me a while before i can actually embrace it so i just want to applaud you and say keep going the sky is the limit like there's no stopping sis like until you get to your goal and what you want to achieve in life i would just say don't stop don't stop get it get it keep it moving okay so definitely Definitely, I say thank you so much. That really made my day. But this is basically what I enjoy and I love to do. I love to get inspired, but I also love to inspire people. This is a wall full of talent and we can all shine and we can all learn from each other. You don't know, I probably have in the, in the, in the, in the, I don't even know who this is really, but basically I would say if I should have ever met you or seen you, you probably, ha I have actually learned a thing or two from you, which you probably would not understand, but I do. I, I make sure I learn something from every single person that I come across. I always sweat too much, especially my face, anything I Anytime I go to do makeup, it's always a problem, so please help me with a solution. Uh, what I could tell you is that 
that's a like that's really hard right but just making sure that you hydrate your um your skin that's number one because sometimes when your skin lacks the hydration like it will probably like kind of react that way right but making sure that you also use sweat proof products or sweat resistant products there is a lot ton of product right now out there that are sweat resistant so making sure that you're using sweat resistant products um where is this making sure that you're using sweat resistant product and also having a fan or AC on whenever you're doing your makeup could be helpful. You guys, I hate being hot and doing my makeup. Like those two just can't go together for me. So I make sure I always have my AC on um, if it's hot and if it's cold, I mean, if it's, if, if I don't have AC, like if I don't have access to AC, like I make sure I just have a fan on, but I make sure that I am comfortable when I'm doing my makeup. So, um, when are you going to get married? Do you want to have kids? I've already addressed the marriage part. Do I want to have kids? Um, <laughs> you guys are probably like, what? You don't want kids? No, I do want kids, right? But I've got to a particular age in life where I just have to be honest and I have to also be realistic with myself um, I would love to have kids like I love kids love to have kids right but I've got to a certain age in my life that I also have to consider the fact that it could be it could it could be there could be a chance of me not being able to have kids right i am not wishing that to myself but it's something that i have to put into consideration that i there is a possibility that i would not be able to have kids and that's where options are and that's why i said earlier that i am open to adoption um i am open to adopting and i Definitely, definitely one day, hopefully, God willing, would be able to would adopt a child. Um, I don't know where I would want to adopt a child from. You know, what part of the world, either in America or in Africa. But it's definitely um, something that I am hoping that God will give me the strength and the mind and the financial stability to be able to even to be able to do that, right? Um, so, so yeah, this person is asking what cleansers and moisturizers do you use for your face? So I use, um, I have about three favorite, um, cleansers and I would link all of them for you guys. I like the Dior snow cleanser. I like the Dior, um, uh, what's it called? The Dior, um, prestige cleanser. And I also love the Caudalie's cleanser, um, the gel one. And I also love the Tatcha cleanser. So I use all these cleansers. Like It just depends on which one I have at the moment. So right this second, I'm actually using um, my Dior Snow Cleanser. And it's like, 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 like almost right now. And I absolutely love that cleanser especially if you're someone who suffers for, from hyperpigmentation. I still just use it just because I like to be, like my skin to stay bright. But yeah, those are my top favorite cleansers. My moisturizers, I love Prestige, but Prestige from Dior is very, very pricey. I do sometimes use the Tatcha Dewy Skin um, a moisturizer. Um, what else do I use as a moisturizer? So those are basically like the two and Capture Total from Dior. So I use those. Those are the three top moisturizers that I moisturizers that I use. So and actually Tasha has a water cream. So if you're someone who's kind of on the oilier side, you can definitely do the water cream. That one is also really nice. I've used that one also in the past. Okay, so those are my favorite cleansers and moisturizers for my face. What do I need to do now? What? Facetune, I mean, what Facetune? What app do I use to edit my photos? I use Facetune to edit my photos and Facetune is not free. You actually pay for it, but yeah, that's what I use to edit my photos. Um, I really only use Facetune, like really that's it. 
I mean, I don't think that's a secret. I feel like everyone knows that now. <laughs> What's the secret? How does one become an employee for Dior? It's one of my favorite luxury brands that I like and would love to work with them. P.S. I love your hair on you. Thank you. Um, so, how does one work for Christian Dior? <laughs> I wish I had the answer. So basically, look for a job. I, like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, the crazy thing is, um, so, so I, I don't know what the answer is going to be, but look for a job from Christian Dior. I don't know. If you see an opening in your area, like, look, like, just apply. Um, it's kind of crazy. And if you know someone who knows someone also, sometimes that could help you out if they are hiring in a particular position in your area. Um, if any, I could do anything to help, I would if I can, but I don't know if I know anyone in the area that you live in, but you know, you never know. You could just always ask. Um, if you see any positions open, you can always ask someone to kind of help you out if they know someone who knows someone right but it's crazy because i mean okay in case you guys don't know if you're just hearing this i work for christian dior and that kind of explains the reason why most of my skincare is christian dior because you know it's quite expensive so um but but yeah like if you know someone who knows someone that can probably help hook you up to like put the word out there for you if you see an opening in your area i i seriously did not look for the position that i am in today the job i am doing today like it pretty much just fell on my lap because i was already in the industry and they had their eye on me so they basically like recruited me um to do the job but definitely, like, if you know someone who knows someone who knows someone who knows someone can hook you up. Or you could basically just apply and just go for an interview. It's really a great company to work for. Um, I can tell you that much. Um, I love working for them and um, I will definitely recommend it. So, yeah. So if you see an opening in your area, definitely go for it, girlfriend. Like, and if I can help, if I know someone in your area, I sure would place is so sweet a lot of people like the messages was like you're so beautiful da, 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 da. like you're so pretty you're so beautiful you look fabulous why are you so pretty why are you so pretty you look so beautiful oh my god you guys are so sweet oh <laughs> like you seriously just make my day Okay, so let me hurry up, okay? Because, listen, y'all had too many questions. Um, a false assumption. Oh, a lot of people are also asking, why did I leave Dallas? Like, why did I move out of Dallas? Because, listen, child, I got a job in Houston. The coins were calling me in Houston, so I got to, you know, I have to follow the coins, sis, you know? But if you got some coins for me in Dallas, too, you call me back, I'm going to sell this house, and I'm moving back to Dallas. But for right now, we stayed in Houston. Okay, um, let's see. An assumption about me. High maintenance? Baby. You might be right. You might be right though. But guess what? I maintain myself. Bloop! It's my job and my responsibility to maintain myself and I am doing that. So if you call me high maintenance, it's on you, my man. Okay, um, looking fabulous, my assumption. <laughs> I can't laugh, you guys. This one says my assumption is kusofnga. So if you don't know how to speak Wolof, kusofnga means basically I am rude. And I think I had another person say the same thing. My assumption about you that is you're rude. <laughs> That's hilarious. Far from it. I am far from rude. I don't even know what that looks like or sounds like. For some, for some reason, man, most people, okay, that don't know me, always assume that your girl is rude. And I'm like, where? How? Yo, I'm far from being rude. I am far from being rude. Like, I am legit, like, 
I'm so silly and I'm so crazy. Like, I'm far from being rude. Like, for some reason, people assume, like, that I'm so rude, I'm so mean, I'm so, oh, stuck up. I'm like, baby, have you met me in real life? I could be quiet, you know, when you first meet me because I'm very, like, I'm an observer. Like, I would probably, like, be very quiet and pay attention to every single detail and every single thing. But, baby, being rude... It's not one of them it's not I'm sorry um, someone asks what is my favorite food to eat it depends if it's I like anything spicy and tangy and mm, you know like a bear groom soup <laughs> if you're Gambian you know the deal <laughs> um, I like fufu I like all the bad stuff I don't like anything like good like come on like who is that right but if I should go to a restaurant, the food, like what I'm gonna order, steak, or maybe seafood, but most likely steak, right? I love steak, I'm a meat person. Um, so if you don't like steak, I'm sorry. And the other one was, I feel like I've gotten so many relationship questions, like it's disgusting. Okay, but let me actually just answer this question real quick, cause that's part of them. But the other question was, um, are you a real life model? <laughs> Y'all, I feel like Instagram has really <laughs> messed shit up for everyone. Who asked that question? Are you a real life model? No, I'm a fake model. I'm a fake life model. Seriously? I am a real life model, yes. And I have been for very, 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 very long time. Like, very long time very long time that's all i can say so yes i am a real life model um the next one was where can we find your bet clips i'm rolling my eyes uh bet clips go to bet.com i don't know um so basically like i used to be on rip the runway which was a show on bet it was like a music mit fashion mit mits music or music mits mits fashion like kind of show on on BET so I used to um, be on BET and I think you can probably like look up like let me see who I did I did Waka Flocka Flame no Waka Flocka Flame you know no I did uh, Wiz Khalifa I did Wiz Khalifa I did uh, work with Wiz Khalifa I've worked with Carrie Hilson I've worked with uh, Mick Mills I think so you probably have to like look up those people when they were on BET to probably like see what it is like I don't even watch that like I don't even like I actually don't remember those things like I actually forget about them but yeah um, if you care to know or see I bet you could probably look up those things I legit probably watched that like once in my life I hate watching myself like in case you don't know like I don't like to watch myself um, like uh, don't watch it in front of me either because it makes me very uncomfortable <laughs> I feel like every other question was this question. Are you in a relationship? Are you talking to someone? Are you seeing someone? Are you in a relationship? Do you have a boyfriend? Who's your boyfriend? Damn yellow nosy. Um, unfortunately, this is not a dating site. And I have no answers. Do I have a boyfriend? Am I talking to someone? Are you single? I am happy. And that's all you need to know. This is not a dating site. Swipe left, swipe right. Not here. Okay? So if you want to know if I'm in a relationship, maybe you can try asking me out. And if I respond back, maybe I'm in a relationship. And if I don't, actually, if I don't respond back, maybe I'm in a relationship. And if I respond back, that means I'm open to talk, right? But unfortunately, this is not a dating site. All I can tell you is that I am happy. As you can see. I am very, I am very, very happy indeed. And that's all that matters in life. Being a single in a relationship, talking to someone, not talking to someone, seeing someone, not seeing someone. As long as you're happy, 
that's the ultimate goal. That's it. That's all I gotta tell you. That's that's all I gotta tell you. Make sure you're happy. In whatever you're doing, just make sure you're happy. Put yourself first, okay? Ignore my lips, really, I'm not dead. Um, the first impression about me is beautiful, kind-hearted, goofy. Uh, someone said... Uh, someone says, down to art, funny, foolish, but only when you are comfortable. Only when you are comfortable. Very true. I'm very foolish, very down to art. I'm like the most foolish person you ever met in your entire life, but only when I'm comfortable. When I'm not comfortable, I have a resting bitch face because I'm trying to study the situation. I just can't allow everyone into my life. Like I have a very, 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 very small circle of friends, of people that I call friends. Like I don't, I'm not very, you know, but I'm still cool. Like I will still respond. I will still talk. I will still chat. I will still laugh. But my circle is very, very small. That's true. Um, like people I call my friends really are mostly like family. Like I don't even call them friends. They really family to me. So shout out to y'all. Shout out to all my friends. Uh, um. She said, not a question, but how about I share? Oh let's hear this Amy I was in awe of your beauty from the first time we met but I wasn't prepared for your beautiful heart and kindness I love keeping up with your journey on Facebook oh y'all y'all are so y'all are gonna make me cry that's so sweet um you can't be that gorgeous and be that nice my assumption is that you kick poop <laughs> I hate her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is hilarious. She said, uh, you can't be that gorgeous and that nice. My assumption is that you kick puppies or, or club baby seals <laughs> when no one is looking. <laughs> okay. Somebody is asking, where are your favorite stores to shop for clothing? You always look impeccable. Oh, thank you. So my favorite, sh like my style, it's very really just simple um i genuinely can live in sweats 24 7 but that's not the case i have to dress up sometimes a little bit so my style is um oh not my style so where do i shop from i like i love not like i love zara um i used to love uh what's the place called bcvg until like a month ago because they went out of business they are bankrupt um i love bcbg you guys Ugh. they were like so expensive but they had they have some of like the most the the nicest pieces ever uh so when they were going on out of business i went crazy because they had everything on sale and normally like it's very very expensive yeah um, I'm not an online shopper at all, like at all. When I tell you at all, I mean at all. Like, I do not online shop at all, like at all. I actually want to like try online shopping, but I'm just not for it, right? So I love Zara. I love, um, I love Saks off Fifth, okay? Cause listen, I can't afford like, real sax so i go to sax of fifth and i also love nima nako's last call because you guys you can get like really 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 expensive pieces very great quality for like the fraction of the price so these are my stores i love nutstrom's rack i love all the discount stores that are like expensive when you go to their stores but then you know they all have their outlets where you can go and get stuff for more reasonable price. Y'all, this is the best gloss ever, and this is the Dior lip oil. Ugh, this is so bomb. Legit, my lips looks like a glass. I don't know what my lash is doing, but it's like budging up right there. But whatever. 
Okay, you all, and that is the end of the video. So if you have any further or any more questions, please don't hesitate, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Just make sure we keep it PG, cause you know, some of y'all kind of was asking some weird questions I could even like say in here. Um, but yeah, if you have any more questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and don't also forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload, okay? And as always, I say thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time.